Hey everyone, I'm Brian with the Donatucci Branch Library, and today is Traveling Tuesday. Now, you can see that I'm traveling in my car right now, but I have a confession to make. I'm still waiting for the green screen to be delivered to my house, so I can't do the Traveling Tuesday like I originally planned to do. So instead, I'm going to visit a place today that I've already visited. See, my original plan was to visit new places that I've never been before, but today, I have to make an exception. So I'm gonna visit some place that I actually love visiting. And I haven't been here in a while because of COVID. You know, um, the place has been closed, but it's still closed now, but I'm still, I'm gonna visit anyway, just because, you know, I really love this place. I really miss this place. And I just wanted to visit it to see, make sure it's still standing, you know, and Sure enough, I just arrived at my destination. So let's go visit it, come on. All right, so we're here, we're at our destination. As you can see, we're at the Thomas F. Donatucci Branch Library. Now, I have some fun facts for you here today that you may not be aware of. So, most of you probably already know this, but it used to be called the Passion Branch Library. Now, it changed its name in 2004 to Thomas F. Donatucci because it was named after Thomas F. Donatucci, obviously, right? Now, who was Thomas F. Donatucci? Well, he was the chairman of the 26th Ward, and he serviced the community of South Philly starting back in the 1930s up until his death in the 1970s. Now, the land that this library was built on was actually donated by the Stephen Girard Estates. Now, Stephen Girard, he was a French immigrant, and he died in 1831. But at the time of his death, he was said to be the richest man in America. Right? Ain't that kind of interesting? So, also, that this library, it was built in 1914. That's when it first opened its doors to the public. And the money that was used to build the library was donated by Andrew Carnegie. Now, Andrew Carnegie donated money to the free library system. And with that money, we were able to build 25 libraries total and Donatucci was one of them so how cool is that right now I wish we can go inside so I can show you more stuff like that there's cool artwork in there and there's there's, there's historic photos and stuff but I, I, mean, I can't go inside right now because of COVID that I'm not even allowed in so you know um what are you gonna do right but if you have any questions when we do open back up, feel free to ask me. You know, I can like I can point out like the cool artwork and, and tell you about them or show you some of the historic photos. Or if it's something I don't know, maybe I can just I can Google it and we can find out together, okay? So till next time, I will see you all later and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.